This is my main gaming PC, which has a 1050 Ti. The 1050 Ti is around nine years old, which is probably older than some of you guys watching right now. But some of the other specs are i7 4770 is for the CPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and a one terabyte SSD. This is how much FPS we're getting without optimizing this thing. It's not that bad, but there's a lot of huge frame drops. But now I'm gonna optimize this thing to see if it can still handle games in the big 25. But all that yapping being done, do make sure to like, subscribe, but let me stop yapping and enjoy the video. So for the first optimization that we're gonna be doing, we're actually gonna be doing Windows optimizations. The first thing that you want to do is open up your side thingy windows over here and search up game mode. And then it's going to pop up game mode settings. You want to turn this thing on right over here and then go to your game bar and then turn that off because you don't want that overlay. It might, you know, lag your PC a little bit. After we've done that, you want to go to your graphic settings over here and you also want to turn this on. Uh, it's to hardware acceleration. Uh, it's to improve latency on your PC and all that type of stuff but you're gonna have to restart your PC after this so just make sure to restart it to make sure everything locks and kicks in search up your command prompt and run it as administrator once you do that you want to type in this code over here for ultimate performance it should load it might take a second but it should load after that once you've done that and then it loads you want to press ultimate performance it provides for ultimate performance on higher end PCs, but you can just also use this for lower end PCs. And now we wanna close that. And for the next thing that you guys wanna do is if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you just wanna open up your control panel. You can also download this thing if you don't have it. And then you wanna click the first thing over here, adjust image settings, and then you wanna use this right over here, use advanced 3D settings, and then you wanna click apply. After that, you just wanna go down a little bit and manage 3D settings. You want to scroll down until you see low latency mode right over here and then you want to turn that on to ultra and you want to scroll a little bit down and you're going to see power man power management mode you want to click that and then put that to prefer maximum performance next thing that we want to do is a texture filtering quality you want to put this to high performance and then all that we need to do now is click apply and we're good to go now that we just did that i'm gonna end up restarting my pc i'm just gonna do a little bit more optimizations off camera and then after that we're gonna head to a game and see how much fps we got all right so i just loaded in and for some of you guys thinking that uh this thing is a cpu based game it's not using your 1050 ti i have this thing on direct x11 so it's forced to use my gpu performance mode relies on your cpu so yeah and right off the bat i'm getting so much more stable fps than last time i'm getting such higher frame rates i have it capped at 120 fps i have it at direct x11 medium settings medium to high settings i should say but now we're gonna uncap the fps i only had it capped so i didn't lose some performance or it spikes and stuff but just looking up into the sky, we're getting around 175 FPS, 100, yeah, 180 basically if we round it up. And that's pretty good for the 1050 Ti, considering that it's running on DirectX 11 on medium to high settings. I have a video, I have another video of me featuring the 1050 Ti using ultra graphics. But if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to leave that linked under the video or something. But yeah. Now that I'm done yapping, I'm just going to hit a game to see if the FPS is going to be still stable there, or is it just because we're in a creative match that we're getting such good frame rates. All right, so I just loaded into a battle royale match. A battle royale is more intense because it just, the map is bigger and stuff like that. There's more players, but right now we're hitting 60 FPS. Like we're basically capped at it basically, which is not terrible at all. If this was in like low settings or something and not medium to high, then we'll probably be getting a lot more FPS, but yeah. But I guess surfing or diving, we're getting around 67 FPS actually, which is very ironic. While surfing, we're getting 150, but let's see how well it stays. I think I might end up capping this thing at 120 just because like it's gonna be more stable 
I hope I'm not contested. Nope, I am contested. It's so hard to hit shots. There we go, got him. There's another kid behind. Let's see how much damage this thing does. Oh no, he's not a bot. He's a real player. Bro ran, which is okay. I'm super low right now. I'm gonna try and heal in this bush. Hopefully nobody snipes me out of nowhere. Oh wow, I was low-key scared. That that wasn't trying to hit at all. No way. That was a super close one. Just my shots couldn't land. All right, guys, that was the end of the video. If you do have any questions, please link them down in the comment section below. And if you have any video ideas, do the same as well. I'll leave my Discord server link down in the description of the video. But with that being said, God bless, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.